Welcome to the Necklace Workshop, I'm Paul. In today's video I will introduce you to a new machine tool for the workshop. Hi everyone, I hope you're all fit and fine. Well, I've lost control again and made another unplanned purchase. I'm extremely excited to have got myself a decal, single lip, tool and cutter grinder. I've been doing my homework and I've been watching a great series on restoring the same model by Uchill uh, from the Wood Creek Workshop channel. I've also benefited from quite a lot of uh, videos um, on usage uh, by Phil Kerner, the tool and die guy, Tom Lipton, Ox Tools, Stephen G and Robin Renzetti. Um, I've also been watching Dave M's videos where he's done uh, many enhancements uh, which have, have given me uh, food for thought. Anyway, you, uh, let's use the magic of uh, video editing and transport ourselves to the workshop uh, and have a look at my new baby. Oh yeah, um, sorry about all the sniffing in the clips, it's, um, it was pretty cold in the workshop. Here in the workshop, uh, oh, need to put the lights on. So, uh, some wood here, new workbench coming up, so that's good news. Um, have a trot down there. I'll talk about the uh, workbench and stuff in the next hotchpotch. So uh, here's the new little baby, a uh, decal um, tool and cutter grinder. So um, yeah, a very good purchase on eBay. And although it's pretty pretty tired, I think um, uh, it's uh, yeah uh, value for money. I, I'm going to be quite pleased with it. Um, it's got a three-phase motor um, which um, this, uh, the guys have suggested I can um, plug into their three-phase uh, um, power in, in the workshop because all, all the uh, carpentry uh, machines run on three-phase. Um, so it's uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, I'm actually quite excited with it. I've had a little mess around with it. The only, um, well, not using it, but just cleaning it, or cleaning it, well, not really cleaning it, just trying to establish what's, if there are any big uh, bogey sort of problems there, you know, things I've got to worry about. Um, the only thing that at the moment that this seems to be uh, seized up, so... Um, I need to look at that next time I come to the workshop. But as you know, we all know coming to the workshop's a bit of a challenge because of the um, COVID stuff. Um, uh, now, um, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do any sort of filming of a restoration or anything because um, uh, YouTube, um his videos are, are fabulous and um there's just no value in um, just showing the same, really. Uh, so, well, and and thank goodness they're there, because um, to be honest, I'm just, um, you know, I've watched them all a couple of times and just trying to learn how to, uh, how to tackle this. But I have got a couple of ideas, which are sort of not covered in this uh, video, so I'll, um, I will uh, do something and show you guys that. Um, so this is, this big box is to convert three phase, sorry, this, this box converts the three phase to power the light. So that's a bit of a giant, uh, bit of kit there. Um, so I haven't got a clue where I'm going to, where I'm going to situate it here, but it's, um, it's good to have, um, anyway, and at the price I couldn't have afforded, to be honest, I couldn't even afforded a, um, a Chinese clone so uh, whether this will turn out um, big bucks to try and get going I don't know but fingers crossed on that one so uh, 
yeah, very, very excited. And the other good uh, thing, let me uh, turn you around. Sorry, it's all a bit wobbly. Um, it came with uh, 12 collets. So um, these are in various uh, condition. Um, some some are pretty pretty good. A lot of them are the original uh, or Art Deco collets. Um, so that's quite nice. Um, the majority, I think there were seven Imperial. There are 12 altogether, seven Imperial. Um, three, I'm not sure, I haven't, there, there's no markings on the collets. So I've just, um, just been, um, I haven't bothered to measure them yet. So, uh, but looking at some of the, some of the surfaces, it, there, there is a, let's try and get you in a bit more light. There, there is some, some sort of wear marks on there. Um, I've given them a bit of a clean up. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to make a video on cleaning collets again. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm just going to WD these and uh, wrap, wrap them up just to keep them, protect them at the moment. Um, so yeah, all in all, um, it's 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 pretty pretty good really, and um, I'm very well yeah excited. I think it's the word. Um, but what I'll do is I'm going to make another uh, video where I'll just sort of outline my thoughts on what I'm planning on doing with this. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's uh, anyway. I was just excited and just wanted to share it with you. Um, so uh, yeah, cool. Um, nothing else to report in the workshop. Well, that's my new baby. Fingers crossed uh, it won't turn out to be an expensive mistake. Uh, as well as all the um, the good videos on um, YouTube, I've been collecting um, some documentation. Uh, so I've got um, I've got uh, the the buyer's guide by Phil uh, Phil Kerner, which is actually good. Shows um, lots of the t the tool set. Um, so quite pleased about that. So that's good. Um, but operate operating guide for the uh, for the for the grinder again. It's all pretty uh, new to me. So that's going to be a help. Uh, we got uh, a sales brochure. Um, so that was quite interesting. Um, I was looking at some of the extraction stuff. So um, and um, finally, uh, sorry, a parts um, spare parts list from American Rotary Tool Company. So uh, so yeah, lots of stuff there from a documentation point of view to help me as well. Um, they're all available to um, download. So, you know free free of charge simple google search um, but if any of you are aware of uh, any other documentation or or any other companies that supply uh, space for the decal um, you know please let me know in the comments below well anyway that's uh, that's about it for now so as always stay uh, happy strong and healthy and um, thanks for watching cheerio mm -hmm.